Here's a quick demo of how to use Resize as a service in your Node.js web app. So first I'm going to go to the GitHub repository and when I scroll just a little bit down you can see that there's this example repository. So I'll click on that, scroll down again. There's a couple of prerequisites. As long as you're running a recent version of Ubuntu or OS X you can copy this script here uh, paste into your terminal and it will install the, and, ugh, and it will install the developer tools for you if you don't have uh, GCC and brew and node um, then you will also need to install graphics magic and or image magic so the commands to do so are right here and uh, if I didn't already have these things installed this might take 15 minutes depending on what I'll need to be installed in my download speed. Um, so this is just going to tell me that those are already installed so that's fine. Then we get to the example repository. So I just need to clone this. So I copy and paste that clone command. It creates my resize as a service directory and I'm just going to push D into that directory to, to get into that directory and then I'm going to run npm install so that it installs all the dependencies. Okay, now that that's done, I'll clear my screen so it's not so cluttered and run node bin serve and then give it a port number. I'll choose 3000. You can see it says listening on localhost port 3000. So if I were to just open that up, uh, I get a nice error message here because there's no the server isn't uh, managing the index page this is just the resize service so I'll go ahead and click on this first link all this is doing is defining a state saying state one this could be any arbitrary string it's just a parameter so that it knows whether it should use the version that's cached or if it should try to update to a newer version and then the URL of the photo and I've got this mgur URL to my bunny Charlie this second URL here to test, oh, um, let me go ahead and open this up. You'll notice this is local.foobar3000.com. That's because local.foobar3000.com points to localhost. Uh, I have this domain set up so that with any of my projects, it's easy for me to test. I also have local.helloworld3000.com. So if I were to change this here, I'd get the same thing. This is just so it's easy for me to test. You can use it as well. I plan on keeping the domain for many years and always leaving local dot this domain set to um, localhost. Now this one you see that the width is set to 200, the height is set to 300. That means that the image is going to be resized so that it fits within those bounds. If I were to omit uh, width, then the height would be set to 300 and if I were to omit height then the width is set to 200 and if I have both then it just figures what the smallest is and the smallest in this case is that the width is 200 so it's also converted the format from JPEG to GIF and set the compression level or is this the documentation was a little unclear on the GM module uh, I think it is in this case quality 85 means that the compression is low let's try like this to see if there's a difference maybe it doesn't take effect with gif okay I didn't actually write the GM module I just wrote this API around it so anyway but if we were to do JPEG at quality 85 that looks good and then this will look terrible see terrible all right and that's that now I'll show you a little bit how to configure it when you want to use it in your own project first I'm going to hit control C to cancel that and then clear to clean up my screen LS you'll see there's server.js and here now I'm using connect but this works just as well with Express or any of the connect Express style frameworks uh, I'm requiring resize as a service. I call that resizer. And then here I have my configuration. The images folder 
I've declared as images and resized for the resized images and then the originals folder is images and originals and I'll show you how to create that in just a second the API route you can see here slash resize slash API uh, if I wanted to it would be fine to just call the API route slash resize and then instead of having the mount be slash resize I could not mount it at all uh, so if I run it like this now I can get rid of slash API and just do slash resize and it works okay uh, technically you could also get rid of the API route and just run it bare but I don't recommend running it bare because there is some internal namespacing and that could conflict with something else on your server so please at least give it the API route that can be whatever you want just as long as it starts with a slash and it's ASCII characters and probably UTF characters as well actually um, anyway so you can put a mount here you cannot put a mount here this doesn't matter it's just for your convenience um, your namespacing whereas this API route is for the internal namespacing um, then I pass in the conf this creates an instance and then it falls through if it isn't handled by resizer then you get this nice message uh, if we got rid of this message then you would get the normal 404 so I'll just go ahead and get rid of that and show you what I'm talking about here um, so if I go directly to the site the resizer doesn't handle um, any requests other than what go to its API so you get cannot get all right now the images directory is right here there are originals and resized in the originals folder it always hashes the URL and then creates some metadata uh, in the future I might have a hook for a database so that you could use MongoDB or MySQL or whatever it was that that you wanted to instead of this saving to the file system but for now for my purposes uh, this works quite well I'm not caching millions of images I'm just caching a couple hundred maybe um, for my own inter server use and if I wanted to make those directories if they hadn't already existed as part of the repository I would have just done this mkdir dash p so that it make the parent directory as well that being images when I make the child directory that being resized or originals and that is how you set up and configure resized as a service to test on your local machine if this was useful for you please go ahead and give that little thumbs up button a nice click also you'll see the notes are in the comments section down below you can either at the end of the article or right up at the top give it a like tweet plus one whatever thanks